So hello again on Vacam.net. We're here with Config from the Team North. So how was your game? You were just qualified for the bracket, the major. What are your thoughts? Um, I didn't think so much during the game, but now we just realized that we became legends and we just realized that this is a top eight at a major. And, uh, and now all the pressure is gone because we went uh, zero to two. So we were really afraid like losing just one game would like send us home. So the top eight legend batch will show off soon and we will probably, I think we will destroy anyone we will meet in the quarterfinal. Just explain me. What was this knife kill, <laughs> please? <laughs> um, he, he smoked around the side. So I was like, okay, where could he go? He could go right, he could go left. And I didn't, I checked the behind the side and I saw him. But first I thought it was a dead body. So I was like, oh, what the fuck is going on? Where is he? So, <laughs> so I pulled out the knife and then I just went for it. I didn't even think about it that much. Did you know that you could have killed him with your flesh? <laughs> uh, I, we, we didn't know he had two yeah. HP. We had no idea. I was like, he's 100 HP, I'll just knife him. But actually, the knife kill made us... So I can drop two M4s next round. So I, when next round, when everyone was like, we didn't have that good money, so they had to buy UMPs. I was like, hey, guys, I have 11,000, and they have like 3,000 each. So somehow, it kind of helped us. Yeah, uh, We're going to come back on your mats versus G2. Uh, it was uh, like easy for you. Uh, what can you tell us about... Uh, this is G2 uh, during your match. The G2 match, like, we didn't expect much. We were just, like, um, we were kind of expecting the same old G2 as before because we know that they haven't practiced and we know that they haven't, like, done anything new and we watched their games before and watched the games here when they played. And, like, we didn't expect anything. We didn't even anticipate that much. We just got told by Kaspar Raga, our coach. He just told us, like, okay, Shox is playing there, he's playing there, do that, and then we will win. And then we did it and it worked out. Uh, for your first match against Gambit, we were kind of surprised that you didn't ban Cobble. The, they were undefeated on it uh, for three months. Why are you letting it in the pool? Um, we played on bootcamp. We played against Navi. We wrecked the Navi. We played against FaZe. We played against other teams. So our ban against Gambit was like we didn't know what to expect because we never played them before. Like, um, So we were... Like the band didn't even matter for us because we were like confident in our cobblestone and we were confident that the pick would probably get us to win. But we, cho we chose it against against Fnatic and the cobble map for us right now is not a confident map, but we will probably get confident in it again. Um, you're now with uh, North, uh, uh, Norg from uh, FC Copenhagen. Uh, what's the difference be between a, a classic organization and, uh, and one like North? Um, the North organization is way more professional. We have everything we need. If you just ask for our boss about what we need, then he just bring it in like at least one day. So we got like seven shirts and we got uh, suits, travel suits. We have everything, suitcase, bring it on. We have everything. So everything about North is the best thing we've done in all our lives. What was your, your feelings during your boot camp in the, in the parking stadium? Um, our feelings were when we came there the first time we were like holy shit we're gonna boot camp here we have we can watch the other team practice like the football team we're like when they go practice we're like oh, we have to go out and look and see what they're doing and so we were really hyped but later on it was like more like okay we're just gonna play and then we stayed there for like 11 hours almost each day that, that should have been nice <laughs> um, you you won the epicenter uh, but after that event, so we, we, we didn't feel to you that you were like, uh, in good shape. What can you... What? Um, the problem was that we traveled for like 35 days. So everyone was so exhausted. Like when we came home, we had break for two weeks, I think. So the break helped us a lot. But I feel, I feel individually I'm kind of lost at the moment. Usually I get like many kills. I get sick kills. I usually destroy people, aim duels. But the, the 35 days traveling were like way too much. So we talked about it in the team and we like came to a thing like only one online season and only like two events max each month. Your, your team qualified for the major uh, through the Swiss format in the qualifier. Uh, what do you think about this, this format uh, in the qualifier and in the group stage in major? 
I think the Swiss format is the best format you can play on. I think it's the funniest because you have you actually have two lives, three lives. So you can you can even though you go zero to two, you can still qualify like we did. So I think the Swiss format is funnier to watch for people as well because like if you lose one match, then if you lose one more, then you go home. So you like people at home is probably enjoying it more as well. Uh, the old team is probably one uh, of the good one of the highest salary on CS:GO. Uh, does uh, do you feel the pressure? Uh, because of it, uh, when we play underdogs, we usually feel a bit pressure because, like, okay, usually we win against these guys. Usually we have to do this, and this works usually. And so when we play underdogs, it's like tough for us somehow. So we like to play someone like if we, can, for example, play against Nabi, we like feel more confident in what we do. And if we get destroyed, aim duels from underdogs, we, then we're like, whoa, they're actually pretty good. So I don't think the gap in the CS:GO pro scene is that big anymore. It's like really close. As uh, the month passed, you, you seem to be better and better. Uh, did you change your personal training? Or what What is it? I didn't change that much. I just realized that this team we have right now can be the best team in the world. So I just, every morning, I go up, take like one hour, two hour deathmatch every day. And then I have a lot of support from home, my girlfriend, my family, everyone, my friends. They type to us every time we win a match. Uh, my Facebook is like filled with like, comments and my parents call me and my girlfriend call me so i think the the best thing the best thing at home is like the the support is probably the best thing that done for me um no you're qualified for the brackets uh, what teams do you fear to 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 face in a best of three i think we don't we don't fear the anyone but we played against navi in practice and they were really good so we expected them to go three zero as they did So I think that's the only team we're like really scared to play against. We don't really care about the, who else we play against. We're just gonna play our own game and just destroy them. Yeah. Nah, thank you and uh, good luck for the brackets. Thank you.